Good morning. We got an incredible show this morning. Uh, I'm jazzed. And uh, big thanks to Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank, uh, right here in Grand County. Five loca four locations all over Grand County. And uh, big thanks to those guys. We uh, can't do the show without them. Uh, special guest this morning is Jesus. He has joined me. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Tim. I didn't recognize no, I, you when I, you walked in. I, I'm going for that part in the Revenant too. Oh, so, the Revenant. I yes. haven't seen them once. Oh, don't don't spoil. Well, but uh, you know, this is about Revenant too. What's, what's so. the real inspiration? Last time I had John, you were clean cut and short haired. Now you got Grizzly Adams going. Well, you know, at one time it was a girl. And now it's just out of control. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just you on strike from you run out of razors or what? Dollar Shave Club kick you out? You know, I, I tried to get them as a sponsor. They didn't want to sponsor this. So. So here you are, so rocking I, the mountains. I'm, I'm running a battle against them. Rock the beard. Rock the beard. Rock hey, the beard. fear the beard. Hey. That's big these days. And besides, you know, baseball, um, you know, Rockies. They're, uh, How are they doing? Older. They doing all right this year? They're doing okay so far. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I'm a Brewers fan, and that's yeah. going okay. Well, Trevor Story, he's the story. Seven homers, six games. Well, that is a story. Or, no, Good. five games. Seven homers in five games. Well, real quick, I'm, I'm a little concerned that you're going to do some electroshock therapy on me here. Hey, hey. How did you guess what this is? Is it really? It really is. It's an electric shock therapy. I, I just watched uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest recently, oh, and yeah. I just was having flashbacks. Yeah. Well, you know, like this could be treatment for uh, what ails your nose. Um, just what? Just, yeah. Stick it right in. You know, it's all plugged. Well, I see. Really? We, I see this thing. Not. Oh yes, absolutely. I see. We still have a plug here. So we do. We, is this thing actually functional? You, uh, I don't want to know. You, I don't you want, want to plug it in. Go do out. not. I would <laughs> rather not. <laughs> I, I'm not uh, qualified to run this machine. I only went to two years of med school, so I'm not. Qualified. Did you really? I did. Is that also called undergrad generals? No. no. Okay. It was you actually went to med school. I actually went to two years of med school, but we didn't use these machines in there. And for those of you who don't know, this is Tim Nicholas, our local historian with the Grand County Historical Association, uh, local legend. He knows everything there is to know, including the electroshock therapy pass. So what year yes. are we talking here? So this was used in Hot Sulphur Springs in the 1930s and 40s. Um, it's this was used in, jeez. It was. Okay. It was, uh, Dr. Ogden in Hot Sulphur Springs. In May I ask what kind of a patient we might be trying this out on? Well, I mean, it was used for all kinds of different things that ailed you. Uh, you know, so if, if you had sinus problems, that's what this program really is would. for. You really would. Stick it in the nose, clear your sinuses. Um, of course, uh, we all know one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yep. That's the most popular idea of what electroshock electric therapy. therapy was for. But no, it's for all kinds of ailments. Uh, I won't mention some of them. Right. Yeah. You know, it's probably not appropriate for a These days it would like be very, this. very uh, inappropriate yes. to use it for such purposes. Absolutely. So, but uh, yeah, it's an interesting machine. When I first saw it, I had no clue what it was. I'm like, what the heck is this? Is it, you know, like a telegraph, a radio? I had no idea. So I finally was able to ask Olida Sheriff what it is. And she's like, oh, that's an electric of shock course. therapy machine. Yeah. I'm like, oh, of course. Uh, and after you're told what it is, it, it kind of is obvious. So, when, uh, when might this have gone out, like not allowed anymore? Well, they still use electric shock therapy. Are they still treatment. blasting people? I didn't know yeah, that. Oh, yeah, they sure are. Holy and not, not, it's, it's much more controlled now, and I don't think the voltages are as high as what you would have had on this machine. Um, Whew, I didn't realize yeah. that. Oh, yeah, still in use. Stick a mouth guard in your mouth and plug you in the outlet. Huh? Uh, yeah, so much for a family show. Okay, so have you, you guys have never uh, plugged it in or seen if it works? I'm sure not going to. Okay. Yeah. The thing might explode, so yeah. I wouldn't want to know. But. What year? Uh, 30s, 1930s. So, yeah, very interesting piece. I like to haul it out for Halloween. Yeah, a <laughs> mad scientist or crazy doctor, exactly, whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah. So, do, do you have a piece that hooks up to the sides of your temples? That would be right here. What, I have to bend over and put my head in there? Uh huh. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. No, no. And have an arc. How would you like to stick your head in that? That's messed up, with, man. With, it's pretty messed up. Now I know what happened to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, cool. That's, a, that's an interesting thing. And I think that's kind of a nice segue into what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, so I thought we'd this talk about... This would be the more lunis, lunatic side of the medical profession. Th this definitely is, yeah. But, uh, you know, th this was uh, definitely um, accepted practices for the day. And as well as still today. Who, but, you ever wonder who came up with the idea of, hey, let's just start sending voltage through your brain to see if that <laughs> shakes you up? Uh, I, admit, I imagine it was probably Edison. More it was working life. for everything else, yeah. so you might as well shove it through your brain. I mean, you could kill elephants with electricity, so you know, why not 
chase the demons out of your brain. <laughs> Rock and roll, man. <laughs> so, so what do you got in store for us today? Um, so we're going to talk about a couple of very famous doctors uh, from Grand County, from one end of the county to the other, Fraser to Kremling. So first, uh, talk yeah. about Doc Susie. You know, and on that note, it looks like uh, we're going to need to take a quick break here and uh, stick around because when we come back, we are going to talk about Doc Susie. Okay. And uh, once again, I'm hanging out with Tim Nicholas of the Grand County Historical Association. And uh, of course, a big uh, thank you to Grand, I'm sorry, Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank, uh, four locations in the county. Um, Definitely thank you to them. We'll be back shortly. Grand Mountain Bank is the only locally owned and operated bank in Grand County. And with four locations to serve you, we're in all the right places.